everyone it's mrs anderson and because it is springtime and we're learning about the spring i wanted to come on today and read a story about bunnies and do a finger play about bunnies as well as us doing some activities that has bunnies in it as well so we are going to get our book this book is called five little bunnies hopping on a hill so let's sing our song this is the front of the book this is the back of the book this is the spine of the book and these are all the pages this book has some counting in it and i am going to need some help counting little bunnies hopping on a hill. One bunny tripped and took a spill. Oh no. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said no more bunnies hopping on a hill. I wonder how many bunnies do we have now? So there were five bunnies. One bunny fell down. So let's count to see how many bunnies we have now. One, two, three, four. And it looks like they're digging. One bunny found a sleeping mole. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies digging messy holes. Hmm, I wonder how many bunnies are here now. One, two, three little bunnies. Three little bunnies playing by the sea. One got scared by a buzzing bee. Look at that bee buzzing in that bunny's face. His face does not look happy at all. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies playing by the sea. Two little bunnies dancing in the park. One got lost when it grew dark. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies dancing in the park. <laughs> she looks very worried. One little bunny spinning round and round. Bunny is having such a great time spinning around and round. Got so dizzy she fell to the ground. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunny spinning round and round. Now there are no little bunnies playing in the sun. No little bunnies having any fun. Oh no, it looks deserted. Deserted means when there's no one around. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, huh, that looks like those are all the bunnies there. Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five bunnies. I think those might be the mommy's bunnies. Let those bunnies run, run, run. The end. It seems as though they're having fun on the hill with their mom hopping all around. 
do you think that you can tell your parent or whoever you're listening to this story with what was your favorite part about this story my favorite part about the story was when the one bunny was spinning round and round and she got so dizzy that she fell on the ground. That was my favorite part about this story. Now, we are going to do um, a finger play about bunnies. So I'm gonna need your help. When we start off with this finger play, you're going to need two fingers so you can make two fingers for the bunny ears. And then you're gonna make a circle. And the circle is going to be for the bunny's toe. So I'm gonna say it first, and then I want you to help me, okay? Here is a bunny with ears so funny, and here is the hole in the ground. When a noise he hears, his ears appear, and he jumps in the hole in the ground. Let's try it one more time. Here is a bunny with ears so funny, and here is a hole in the ground. When he, when a noise he hears, he pricks up his ears, and he jumps in the hole in the ground. So, for our activity, I have a bunny principle that I would like to see you decorate. You can color the bunny, um, you can make a fluffy tail on the bunny out of cotton balls and I have that attached down below under this video as well if you do not have a printer at home because an adult will need to print the bunny printable for you from a computer if you if you don't have a principal at home you can always get your journal where did mrs. Anderson put her journal you can always get your journal and you can draw a picture of your bunny on a piece of paper and then you can show me what your bunny looks like. So I cannot wait to see your pictures of your bunnies and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.